It's a beautiful day for racing here at Humble Hill. I'm Josh Poplar and this is the Frozen Four Banger. Those four brave souls will risk life, limb, and property damage to take on this glorious beast today. Here's how our track works here at Humble Hill. That very handsome gentleman at the top of the hill will drop him down the start gate and come into turn one. If you're lucky enough to stay on your feet, you'll come through turn two off that high bank and cross the finish line. Let's meet our drivers. Bringing in all the Olympic downhill prowess of Austria, it's Stefan Bill Hubber. Racing out of the former Soviet Union, now known as Alaska, it's Josh Miller. Representing the great state of New Hampshire, it's David Burrell Jr. And Indiana's more than corn, it's John Receiver. The conditions could not be more perfect for our race today, folks. It's a crispy 18 degrees Fahrenheit under slightly overcast skies with a fresh misting on the track. Absolutely perfect for a great race today. Here's our bracket. We're going to start off with Stefan Haber and John Receiver. And then move on to David Burrell Jr. and Josh Miller. Here's our rules for today's Frozen Four Banger. It's head-to-head -head racing. We do not mess around here at Humble Hill. Best of three winner advances. The winner must cross the finish line by any means possible. On their roof, on their side, on top of another car. It doesn't matter. Anything goes here at Humble Hill. Let's kick off the festivities with Bill Haber versus Receiver in this first race. Here we go, the hopper takes out receiver in the first turn and slides on backwards to victory. Receiver there laying on his side wondering what happened and here's what happened. Valhaber took him out, flipped over, spun him and then slowly slid back over the finish line backwards. So we'll go into race two with these guys swapping sides. And swapping paint right out the gate. Receiver gives him a little bit of payback. Takes him out in the first turn, too. Look at that. Valhaber gets a little taste of his own medicine there. His receiver is not taking any flack from him. Puts him into the wall and slides across the finish line. So that sets up a sudden death here in our first race of the day. And they're off. Receiver Valhaber going head to head. It looks like receiver's going to come back. No! Valhaber takes it. And we'll advance in the tournament. Watch this here, folks. So receiver, to avoid the hit there, he goes high in the turn. But the hopper spins around and blocks him. Receiver got a little bit of speed coming up, but it was not enough. Here we go into our second race. We'll have Josh Miller versus David Burrill Jr. Miller on the left, Burrill on the right. Here we go. Miller flips Burrill. Coming into the first turn, it does a barrel roll. Guys, this was a weird race right here. We're going to slow it down for you and show you exactly what happened there. Took Miller a couple barrel rolls here. You're going to see. Tries to go high. Both of them try to go high in the first turn. And Burrill flips. And it looked like Miller was not going to finish the race after doing a barrel roll. But he lands back on his sneakers there. Another barrel roll before the finish line. And finishes the race ahead of Burrill. So we got race two here coming up right now. Here we go. Same thing there. Everybody goes high and oh, he's, got, he's not going to finish. No, he is. Wow, Miller slides across on his roof. I thought he was just going to stall out there after Burrill blocked the track. Now you can see here on the replay, both drivers tried to go high on that first turn and that's not the way you do it. You got to go low on the first turn, but they're both going high. Burrill actually bumps Miller, and Miller rolls. Burrill rolls, and then Miller... Look at this pass. What a beautiful move by Miller to slide across on his roof and get over the finish line first. I thought he was going to stall out on that second drop, but no. Slides all the way. So this sets up an epic championship. But first, let's take a look at our bracket. So you can see Stefan Wilhaber out of Austria taking the first one against John Receiver and Josh Miller out of Alaska taking the second one against David Burrill Jr. So we are heading into the championship race now, folks, in our first ever Frozen Four Banger here at Humble Hill. There's Miller on the left and Wilhaber on the right. 
Here they go. The Hopper tripped up at the line and Miller with a flawless run to victory. We got to go back and look what happened to the Hopper. It looked like he came out the gate and kind of hopped. We're going to see. I, I think he tried to go high here. Yes, he did. And hopped. Miller with the block, but look at this. That's how you take turn one right there. Miller, perfect example. He goes low, below the line, then easily slides through turn two and across the line for the victory. So Miller up by one now. We'll see if the Hobber has an answer here in race two as we swap sides. Here they go. Miller's flipping over, but he's going low. Oh, and did he give him a little bump there? I think he did. Watch this, Miller gets out in front, goes high in turn one like you're not supposed to do, and then it looks like Bill Haber, trying to make a pass here, actually gives him a little nudge at the end and bumps him over the line like he was playing curling. Wow, what a an unbelievable finish there in the championship of our first ever Frozen Four Banger as we go up Humble Hill here, the opposite direction. And there he is, folks, your champion for the first ever Frozen Four Banger. That's Josh Miller out of Alaska. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Stay tuned for the next Frozen Four Banger coming up soon. We'll see you next time for Rust Belt Diecast Racing.